Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-squared. In this uh, example, we're going to look how to solve for the variable shown, which in this case is x. So, ooh, we have this right triangle, we know our leg and we look for the hypotenuse and we know this angle. So, which trigonometric function? Sine, cosine, or tangent? So, just these three I'm going to look. I'm not going to look on the other two. Trigonometry function will be the one we use. Obviously, it's the one that we use is sine because we have the opposite leg and we're looking for the hypotenuse. So we do not need these two. So we're gonna have sine of 34 degrees equal 15 over x, right? Because the definition of sine is one opposite leg over hypotenuse. So how are we gonna solve that here? We have a couple of choices. Um, some people like to do this, and we're gonna do the cross multiplication. One times fifteen equals x times sine of thirty-four degrees. Okay, and that is fifteen, obviously. And here we have x times sine of thirty-four. And then we're gonna solve for x. So basically, we're going to define, divide by sine of 34. Okay, so x will be 15 over sine of 34, which is a very good answer if you do not need any approximation. However, if you need to approximate, read the problem. How you need to approximate, and you're going to need to calculate. First of all, be careful, your calculator is in degree mode, because then you're going to have a problem. And I use the calculator, and I end up with x equals 26.824375. So now, obviously, most of the time you're not, you're not going to, to need this all this approximation, you may need to round to the nearest 10, nearest 100, and so on. Uh, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square. Thank you.